Hi Slim Stars, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys along with me as I make a traditional marriage dress for a client of mine, an amazing, amazing bride. If you haven't seen the video where I made her wedding dress, do check it out. I'm going to leave the link to that video in the pinned comment down below, okay? Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Okay, so this dress um, was actually a corset dress made with a George fabric. I have a detailed story on how to make a corset, how to draft, cut and sew a corset. I also have a corset online class for beginners. If you don't know how to make a corset, then you can definitely register. I'm going to leave the link to register in the pinned comments and in my description box. So once I was done making the corset, I moved on to working on the bottom part of the dress now the bottom part of this dress was a wrapper illusion or is a wrapper illusion so at this point i was attaching the wrapper at the back and as you can see i had to pleat it because this is the center back right here i had to pleat it so that you know when it's draped to the front to create the wrapper illusion it drapes nicely and it looks beautiful so at this point i was just trying to drape the wrapper illusion as you can see right here and i did this on my mannequin because you know it just gives that it makes it a lot easier to drape on a body form so at this point i was just i went ahead to just secure um you know the wrapper so once i had the drape the way i wanted it to be i went ahead to use my needle and thread to to um secure that now if you want to know how to make a wrapper illusion dress i have a detailed detailed tutorial on that i'm going to leave the link in the pin comment and description box as well so at this point, I wanted to um, embellish the dress and I used designs from the George fabric itself to embellish the dress. And that's one beautiful thing about using George fabrics for traditional marriage dresses. Like the fabric is self-sufficient. Does that make sense? You make the entire dress using the fabric, you embellish using the fabric. It makes life so much easier. You don't really need to get appliques unless you just want to normally especially with a good quality george fabric you can get everything you need from the set itself okay so i just carved out this lovely design from the fabric and then i'm just using it to just embellish the bust area of the dress so what i was going for was i wanted the bust itself to be covered but then i wanted the waist area to be a bit plain so that it doesn't take away from you know the wrapper illusion i wanted the focus to still be on the wrapper illusion i didn't want the designs to just cover everywhere and then you forget that it's actually a wrapper illusion dress does that make sense so i also went ahead to embellish the back as well as you can see um i was going for something simple because i still had structured sleeves to add to this dress so i didn't want to embellish too much such that it takes away from the design that i had in mind i also went ahead to just embellish um, you know the skin net only at the wrist because I didn't want the sleeves to be too busy again because I wanted to do um, structured sleeves so I didn't want to make the sleeves too busy especially when it came to embellishing so I just tried to go for something clean something minimal um, when it came to embellishing overall okay and this is what it looks it looks like so far it still looks plain to me but I wasn't done yet. I wasn't done yet. So I knew that it was going to have that zhuzh that I wanted it to have. <laughs> but so far, this is what it looked like. And then my clients came in for fitting. Obviously, I had put in the, the structured sleeve. Can you see how beautiful this dress is? My client was so excited. This was her first fitting and she loved it. The fit was perfect on her. However, she wanted the, it to be a bit more glittery. Now, the fabric she got, which is this judge fabric, doesn't have a lot of stones or beading so i had to go in and try to you know stone the dress so i went in to stone all the um you know where i have the embellishments i went ahead to stone it with crystal beads and then the wrapper illusion area i realized that it was a bit plain okay especially when i saw her put it on so i went back to carve out some parts of the design in order to embellish you know the wrapper that's the part that's dropping so i had to just go back to embellish it so i tried to just play around with the design so that i get what i want now you know in order to stop the 
you know fabric i was going to add from fraying i went ahead to use my lighter to just you know stop the fabric from fraying now this is a very very useful hack um instead of going ahead to hem it because hemming sometimes is not the most beautiful way to stop your fabric from fraying like imagine me hemming this piece now it will look too bulky it will look too obvious that um something was attached so the best thing is just to use your lighter to just you know stop the fabric from fraying so i use my glue to just glue um you know that design down so that you know it looks more i wanted the dress to just really 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 shine more and so because the wrapper illusion part was a bit plain this really went a long way with making the dress more you know what's the word i'm looking for guys <laughs> english has escaped it just made the dress more flashy if that makes sense so i just went ahead to just you know embellish 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 all the way and then later on as you would see in this video i still went back to stone these embellishments that i'm putting now like guys it was a lot of work i'm um, stoning it but i was really happy to do it because this is my bride we're talking about okay i wanted my bride to shine to shine like a star that she is <laughs> so yeah basically i did that i just gum 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 that's basically what i was doing here and as you can see the designs i put um blended in nicely with the actual designs that are on the fabric now after gluing it i did not stop there i went ahead to still sew those parts um those embellishments that i glued okay just so that it is nice and secure me i don't want to hear story i don't want to hear that the embellishments fell off because this glue sometimes it is well with these glues we use so i always try my best if i can to go back and sew um just to make sure that it's nice and secure so at this point i went back in and i was trying to stone it with crystal beads just so that it would you know make the dress shine even more all right initially i was using this um um stoning pen thingy that i got but guys the thing was too slow i had to just dump it one side and use my hand to just pack the stones and put you know put them where they are supposed to be and then i use my iron to um you know secure it to the dress and this took a bit of time like i said but um, i was fine with the work as long as the dress will be will be beautiful that's all just that's, that's all i want let the dress be a beauty just like my my bride is a beauty <laughs> But anyway, guys, and this is the finished look, guys. So, so beautiful. My clients were so in love with the dress. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Bye, guys.